Okay, so you mentioned yeah. that you've been going for like 20 years to the yeah. same park. So how has your view of the park like evolved over those 20 years? How has it changed? How has maybe the park itself changed? The park, and then yeah. how has your experience of the park changed? We, you know, the, the park, the park has grown up. Um, it's experiencing a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. Um, one of our favorite places to camp, uh, Jenny Lake, which is a, it's a tent only campground. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it's virtually impossible to mm -hmm. get into. I mean, everything's first come first serve mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. So, you know, you'll see people circling a lot at seven o'clock in the morning, waiting to see if somebody's out. Mm -hmm. Um, and you used to just be able to get a spot there. Find one. Yeah. Um, but the, the nice thing about, uh, J the town of, of Jackson is that it, while it has also grown up a little bit, it, it's kind of modernized and stuff. It can't change that much because of all of the, the building restrictions mm. there. So that's kind of nice. Yeah. Um, you know, there, there can't be multiple, uh, story buildings built to, to block views. Right. Um, there's on, only so many square miles um, that can be built on, sure. so the town isn't growing. Mm -hmm. um, on the flip side of that, it makes it kind of expensive. Yeah, totally. Um, but there's there's always been great food, great great restaurants, mm -hmm. um, and that's that's always kind of a nice thing too. Part of the charm. Yeah, mm -hmm. part of the charm. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. some of the the businesses that have been there for 20 years mm -hmm. are still there, and yeah. some of our favorites. Yeah. So that's great so is that kind of what keeps you going back is like the the restaurants that you know and love and and I, even like the proximity of those two like yeah the town and the yep. natural elements it's really it's a it's a great it's a great place um because the the range is just it's like boom it's right there yeah um and you can experience that you can have a you can have kind of a an epic day out on the trails if you want or you can hang out by the lake mm -hmm. too. Um, it's kind of a, a place for all levels, mm -hmm. which is really, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. And it's not, I don't think it's pretentious. I mean, yeah. I think people get that idea, um, but it's, it's really not. Um, I've never been there during ski season though. That might be a different story. We don't know about ski I don't know. Season. I don't know about ski season, <laughs> but it's nice to be able to go out and, and hike and do all that stuff and then, mm -hmm. then roll into town and, you know, grab a, a beer at Snake River Brewery totally. um, or, you know, head over to Dornan's mm -hmm. and sit on the rooftop and Dornan's have a, great. Have, a, have a nice glass of wine mm -hmm. or a beer and, mm -hmm. and sit there and look at the Grand. And, totally. Um, that's nice too. Yeah. 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 The access there is like, yeah, very unique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. It's, it's the yeah. access to those natural elements mm -hmm. that are amazing yeah and there are there are a ton of camp ground like big campgrounds yeah. around there um that make it make it easy mm -hmm. and uh accessible yeah to totally get to. totally so mm -hmm. um you can get out there you can get out there yeah. yeah so that leads pretty well into the next question which is um it'll be three questions okay where do you oh camp where do you hike? Where do you eat? Okay. When you go out there. Uh -huh. So let's start with camp. Okay. You mentioned Jenny Lake. Jenny Lake. Which is if, hard to get to now. Hard to get into. <laughs> so um, where we've where we've camped the the last couple of times is Grovant. Okay. Which is you can't see the range from the camp mm -hmm. site, but it's the closest one to the range, mm. um, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And um, it's also the first place I and only place I've ever been. In, in an earthquake whoa super weird whoa yeah an earthquake in the tetons an earthquake in the tetons which is actually kind of terrifying yeah did you think the yellowstone i know was just gonna explode i mean you think about it right <laughs> you're like well there's nothing we can do well, about it now <laughs> i am definitely in the zone i'm in the zone in the zone um but grovant is is really nice and again it's a huge campground okay um close to uh, the, the range. Mm -hmm. Um, and if that's, if you're, if like the big scene, the big campground isn't mm -hmm. your place, there is another campground that's kind of down the road from that. And it's the name of it's escaping me right now. It's around a lake. Oh, okay. Um, and there are, um, it's a smaller, smaller place, mm -hmm. which is nice too. Mm -hmm. It's just a little farther back. Yeah. Cause um, Grovan is sort of to the South, right? The South of the park. Yes. 
southeast, right? Isn't it right on the yes. edge? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, and that's a nice, it's again, it's the, the proximity is great. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. You're kind of by Kelly. Is okay. Where Gravant is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like to camp there. Um, the other place that we would stay a bunch if we weren't camping is um, a hotel called Snow King. It's not the Snow King Resort. Okay. It's not the fancy one. Okay. It is called Snow King. It is still there. Mm-hmm. I believe they have no web presence whatsoever. Amazing. You just How roll. do you get I, a reservation? I don't know. We haven't been there in a while. <laughs> um, but... Uh, we would see there quite them. a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you meet I think they probably do that. <laughs> yeah. Fax them. Um, but Snow King, the Snow King Hotel is right at the base of Snow King, which is the ski hill in Jackson. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that is a place that I make it a point to hike every time I'm there. Yeah. Um, which sounds ridiculous because it, I don't, it's not in the Tetons. It's not in the Tetons, <laughs> but it's like, I'm going to go climb this thing. Um, and it's steep, mm-hmm. and there's a, there's trails. I mean, everybody's walking on it, and yeah. it is also one of the places um, that if you do travel with your dog, mm-hmm. your dog can go on these trails dog with friendly. you um, because it's not in the national park. Yeah, because national parks are not very dog friendly. No, not at all. Mm-hmm. So it's hard if you're traveling with your dog. It's hard to be in yeah. um, the Tetons. There are a lot of great like dog hotels oh, around sure. there um, <laughs> that we've used. Okay. Do so, they have web presences? Or they shameless? do. Yes, yeah. yes, they okay, do. Good, yeah, good. there's a couple of them that, we, that we've <laughs> used. Um, and, yes. <laughs> um, but the Snow King, it's a great hike. Everybody's walking their dogs. It's, it's a ski hill. I think yeah. it's also a mountain bike hill. So you get up to the, the top of it, and um, you, you have a great view of everything mm-hmm. and then on the back side of that are a whole bunch of trails and stuff too if you oh, want cool. a, a mountain bike or, yeah. or hike back there so that's really nice mm-hmm. um, and then you can you know usually what we do I'd get up really early and then go do that and then we'd roll down to like the bunnery for breakfast mm-hmm. which is so that's a great spot good. in Jackson mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you told me that before we went yes. and it was well well worth the trip yeah the bunnery mm-hmm. delicious the bunnery mm-hmm um, so we like to, to like to eat at the Bunnery. Mm-hmm. We also, um, there's a great coffee shop there called um, Persephone, Persephone, which is incredible. Mm-hmm. Such good coffee. <laughs> Delicious. You um, need the caffeine boost. You do. There's something like so much more satisfying <laughs> about it in like that space somehow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You're on vacation. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. Enjoying stuff like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'm trying to think of where else we eat. We'd eat at a Thai place called Tie Me Up, which is now a, a micro... They started brewing beer there. It's Melvin beer, which is, I guess, if you like IPAs, cool. it's a thing. So, now they're more of a Melvin place than they are a Thai place. No more Thai. <laughs> That's a strange side It's a strange side step. Yeah, but Maybe. it seems to be working for them. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Um, and then, let's see, Mary Piglet's is a great Mexican restaurant. Mm. Eat there. Mm-hmm. We're generally there. We try to go there on, like, the shoulder season, mm-hmm. so it's not so crowded. We've totally. been there during, like, busy times, and it's it's busy. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. busy. It's a, it's a small town. It's so a it small town. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and the park is actually pretty small. Mm-hmm. So it really it, is. It fills up, too. Parking and, lots. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, if you go there in early October it's great Mm -hmm. the weather's still really nice yeah um not a lot of traffic Mm -hmm. so a little bit quieter a little quieter shoulder season shoulder shoulder seasons Mm -hmm. are good yep I love that Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so what would you tell people who were planning a trip themselves Mm -hmm. about preparing to go we could break that into maybe like weather considerations which mm, we've talked a little mm-hmm, bit about mm-hmm. wildlife considerations mm-hmm. and then maybe just if you have any like miscellaneous pro tips mm. something that you've learned that you, you that you always prep for mm-hmm. going into it but mm-hmm. maybe start with weather like someone planning a trip yeah weather out there um 
pack everything. I mean, totally. it's cold yeah, in the morning. It's cold at night. It's cold at night. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're at you're you know you're at elevation, and depending on what you're going to do during the day, mm -hmm. it may be really warm. We've been out there when it's 90 degrees yeah. and like bright sun. Yeah, and that is hot. Totally, especially at elevation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you kind of just have to prepare for everything. Um, if you're there, kind of in those shoulder seasons, it's probably going to rain mm -hmm. or snow. Mm -hmm. um, so we just be prepared for that. Some precipitation. Yep. You know, rain gear. Um, and yeah, the sun is intense. Yeah. So be SPF. mindful. Yes. UPF. UPF. Yeah. Cover your cover yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but you can also, I mean, beautiful. You don't have to really worry about bugs. Yeah. Because you're at yeah. elevation, which is nice. There are bear. Mm -hmm. So have bear spray with yeah. you if you're going in the back country or actually just even around. I think. Be mindful of the bears. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to when they're telling you that mm -hmm. there are bears in the area. Totally. Um, and yeah, and you know, there's moose and all kinds of stuff around. So mm -hmm. just again, be mindful of the, the wildlife. Pay attention. Yeah. How about when you actually are, when you do camp, um, how do you prep for, how do you deal with the bear proximity while camping? What do mm -hmm. you do to mm -hmm. stay safe in that situation? Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're camping, at a, a campsite they all have the bear can they have the yeah the bear bins, bins and stuff mm -hmm. like that otherwise we would just you know use the tree string up your food. yep string up your food yeah. um we've not, i guess we've used bear canisters once okay but, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they actually recommend like anything scented too right yes so like toiletries yes toiletries anything with a smell yes mm -hmm. i mean it's you know in all of these really populated areas bears are getting really sensitive to all mm -hmm. that stuff and um, the better stewards we can be about that, mm -hmm. the safer the bears are. Totally. So Yeah. Because you made a, a good point, I think, the last time that we talked about this, that it's the bear who pays the price yes. if we if we sort of mess something up. Right. Right. It's, which is... Yeah. It's unfortunate, mm -hmm. but they're going to end up, yes, mm -hmm. dead. Yeah. Um, because you didn't put away your cookies. Right. Totally. So. Yeah. Not yeah. something to mess around with. No. No, not yeah. at all. Not at all. And, and I don't know, you know, you see it in those big campgrounds quite a bit. Either people just don't pay attention mm -hmm. or they're, they're being kind of flippant about it. But it's a real thing. Yeah. They're so, around there. They're and around. they're smart. You know, they'll, right. find, they'll find food sources. So. Right. I mean, and easy Put ones. Put them away. Why yeah, not? totally. Totally. <laughs> Can't really fault them. No. Not at all. Yeah. So. How yeah. about any, um, like, miscellaneous pro tips? Like, did you, did you ever, like learn something that you didn't realize you needed to learn while you were out um, hiking or camping or whatever it was? I mean, other than, like, I need to investigate my own trip a little better. Um, don't rely on... Don't rely on... Boyfriends. Boyfriends. Information. Right, right. Or husbands. Right. <laughs> know what you're getting into. Um, and that's one of those things that I, that honestly, because that day that we were up there hiking or that we were climbing the Grand, we, we did see um, some really unprepared people that, mm. that shouldn't have been doing what they were doing. Mm -hmm. um, they weren't properly dressed. They didn't have, I mean, they were young kids mm -hmm. that, that weren't prepared for that stuff. And timing was wrong. Timing was wrong. Um, you just you have to be aware. aware. Mm -hmm. um, just because it's there doesn't, I mean, you have to make plans for that mm -hmm. stuff um you really don't want a helicopter rescue off that mountain totally and i'm guessing it happens more than we think mm -hmm. so um yeah just plan your day mm -hmm. plan your trip so the park's not going anywhere i mean if you can't get to it that day totally it's gonna be there mm -hmm. try again another time try again another time yeah it's okay you're going to want to go back. Yeah. Yeah. So it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> 20, 20 years of going back. 20 years of going back. So <laughs> you've got time for it. Yeah. Yeah. Spaces like that make you recognize like your own fallibility, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that a word? I'm sure. Fallible. It is now. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Why yeah. Not? Good Why tips. Not? Yeah. Um, how has uh, traveling to the Teton so much affected your view of other wild spaces that you that you visit or travel to? Like, maybe how has it prepared you for those spaces? Mm. Or mm. how do you view even maybe like the differences in landscapes? Because mm -hmm. you've been to that place so often. Mm -hmm. 
how does it inform the way you experience other spaces yeah you know it's one of those places that you always just that we just keep going back to Mm -hmm. because it is so incredible it just it's that something about that range yeah um and again maybe see accessibility of it Mm -hmm. um there's just there is something very magical about it um you know and you can go we've been into the wind rivers um a fair amount also which Mm -hmm. is you know huge big mountain ranges just to the to the south of Mm -hmm. there and um it's just not not quite the Mm. not quite the same i don't know there's something about jackson that that keeps keeps bringing us back Mm -hmm. so um i it's hard to compare it to other national parks. They're just, I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's just different. <laughs> it's just different. Mm-hmm. And I, and again, I think maybe it's the access, maybe it's just the, uh, all the memories out of there. Are totally. There. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause my final question for all of these is for you, what's the wild magic of the park? Mm-hmm. And I feel like you've mm-hmm. sort of mm-hmm. mentioned some of those things that it's, yeah the sentiment in some way sentiment it i've had so many good memories with um so many good friends Mm -hmm. that it's it's fun and you know we've you know some mostly good memories i should say (laughs) and just like just bizarre things i've run into straight you know people that i wouldn't expect to run into out there or um yeah Mm -hmm. and it's it's nice that the town i said well the town has changed a little bit it's kind of grown up a little bit Mm -hmm. it's still that place that, that you know. place you know you mm-hmm. can you can I could still walk you exactly like I can navigate everywhere because totally. it hasn't changed that mm-hmm. much um and that's enjoyable mm-hmm. um so yeah and I and it is great that I think so many people are getting out there to see it and to experience it um because you just should there's it's it's yeah. incredible it's an amazing place mm-hmm yeah. Mm-hmm. Cheers to the Tetons. Cheers to the Tetons. Now I want to go. I know. Let's go now. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, GOS doesn't need us. <laughs> I, don't, I just, think they're good. We could just go to the Tetons. I no one that. has to work. No. <laughs> we could be out and back in a few days. There you go. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks for telling me about that. Yeah. Absolutely. I love this. Thanks for having us. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Thanks for, uh, I know, we had some visitors. Being, yeah, being in the video, Sid, Buck, uh-huh. everybody, uh-huh. love you guys. Is this time where we, where we cue the deer? Oh, yeah. Is there a Is there creature a... that wants to wander through? <laughs> well, um, tune in next month. Um, actually, it's going to be the end of this month. I said that wrong. Tune in at the end of July. The next park that we're going to talk about is Badlands National Park. So a place Yay. very near to us and a place I think we all love so that should be a really good one we'll give you some good pro tips on that so Mm -hmm. emily and nancy are signing out